video, we'll take a closer look at Microsoft Defender Antivirus, which is a built-in component of Windows, which provides real-time protection against malware, and also provides any information about malware that has been detected on your system. Now, in short, this is your primary means of protecting your system against viruses, spyware, ransomware, and various other types of attacks. But it's only one component of Windows security. So it's important to understand the difference between Windows security and Microsoft Defender Antivirus itself. Ultimately, Windows security is the complete suite of applications, if you will, including Microsoft Defender Antivirus. But Windows security also includes account protection, firewall protection, device security, family accounts, and various other components. So again, Defender is just one part of the overall Windows security application. Now, that said, you may hear these two terms used somewhat interchangeably, and in day-to-day -day conversation, that's probably fine, but to give you a better idea of the overall relationship, if you were to install a third-party antivirus application, Defender would actually realize this, and it would automatically disable itself but it would not disable any other component of Windows security. Similarly, if you uninstall the third-party antivirus, Defender would realize this and it would re-enable itself, but again, it would have no effect on any of the other components in Windows security. So you're certainly welcome to install a third-party antivirus if you want to, but the only component that would be affected within Windows security would be Microsoft Defender antivirus. Now, in terms of the types of scans that are performed by Defender Antivirus, they include the quick scan, the full scan, a custom scan, and an offline scan. Now, the quick scan is the default, and it effectively does exactly as its name indicates. It performs a scan that doesn't take as much time because it focuses on the locations where viruses and other malware will typically try to invade. For example, the Windows directory. Now, there are many other locations, that's just one example. But in short, the quick scan does not scan your entire system, just the most commonly infected areas. Conversely, the full scan does scan your entire system. So if you aren't sure, or if you feel like perhaps the quick scan is not going to be thorough enough, then you can at any time perform a full scan. A custom scan means that you selectively indicate which folders or which system areas you want to include. And the offline scan does require...